Hi everyone, Lynn here. I've got Spencer lying here. Hopefully stays here as good as gold and doesn't jump about. So I thought I'd pop on with the latest in beauty box from December. And after I've done the unboxing, I might bring Lily out so you can see how well she's doing. I was going to bring her out on my glossy box video, but she was eating a bit. I disturbed her. But she's been quite lively this afternoon. And I thought I'd pop out and let, pop her out to let you see how well she's doing. So this is my December latest in beauty box. I kept one subscription going and I paid the twelve ninety five a month for it. Um, so this is December's box and I left it quite late for my picks. I picked from the 6th of the month to take my payment and I was dreading in case it would be at the end of the month. I think it was, about, it was just after Christmas, just before Christmas I got this. I think it was dispatch of 29th and I just was dreading in case they would pick a box for me. So I've heard if they pick a box for you, you don't get really good stuff in it. So this is my box for December. I've not done my pick shit for January. Yet, so I don't, I don't know what's coming on this month. I keep looking but there's nothing at the moment exciting me so I'll wait to see what else comes on. So the first item I see in here, I think, I don't know if this is a wee extra to put in this month, it was a wee detailed uh, eyeliner brush, because I don't remember picking that, a little brush, you could actually use that as a lip liner. And the box will never be a box, and in latest in beauty, if I get a choice of getting a dry shampoo. And this is a Colab Dry Plus Shampoo Extreme Volume, I've had that one before and it definitely does put volume in your hair, uh, I do like that one. And the brush that I chose myself was the X Lux uh, Tapered Brush. And that looked totally different it was in the on the website. It was hard to see on the website what it looked like, but that's what it looks like there. A little angle brush. And I just thought I'd put this in the box, can't go wrong. Uh antibacterial hand sanitizer by Yardley. That's what this it probably just smells like hand sanitizer. I'll tell a story about that in a minute. That smells a nice one. I was in spec savers. Uh, I'm sure it was spec savers and I used it, I was using a hand sanitizer going in and oh, it was horrible, my hands, it left a horrible smell I was never so glad to go home, I actually used one sand sanitizer in my handbag and I got home washed my hands, it was a horrible smell off it but that's the smell that I know my hand sanitizer you can say hello Lolly and get a wee drink, you can pop out a wee minute to say hello and the next item I got was a ETOMG Precise Eyeliner I don't, I was just looking at the, well, why I got this I don't know, I just popped it in the box, I actually quite like the packaging in it, a little kind of got on my wee black eyeliner, like that, as I say I was finding it hard to, you know, at the time, what to pick, like that, and this is what I was hanging off for, was this, it was a limited edition brightening, li I, Bright and Serum, London Botanicals Laboratories of Bright and Serum, and I think they said that was worth about £49 that wee serum. And to go with that, I got the eye serum, and it was a limited edition avocado and CBD eye eye cream by London Botanicals, and I think they said that was about £49. So I definitely got good value in my box, my twelve ninety five box. So we got the London Botanical Laboratories eye cream, same brand of serum, got the Yardley hand sanitizer. We got the eyeliner, the brush, which was five, six was a dry shampoo, and I think that's a wee extra they popped in the box. Uh, so I'm really, really pleased with that. So I kept one subscription going at twelve ninety five, and I've still got my January picks to go. Um, I'll probably with that dry shampoo still, and I'll probably pick that again. You know what I'm like with my dry shampoo. But uh, as I said, I used to always get different boxes, but I've ran myself in one one subscription only for uh, Latest in Beauty and as I say, I think you had to sign up before the 7th of September to be a, a pro member but whatever, you didn't need to pay the, the postage and I don't know if they still do it, your first subscription but for the first three months you pay the postage before you got the twelve ninety five. I don't know, I don't know if they've changed it or not um, and I think there's a new collection coming out on the 14th of January, have a wee look at uh, I did like the style uh, box I have on but £115, I couldn't justify that uh, for that box, it's quite a good box I couldn't justify it, keep seeing if it's going to go on sale but it hasn't so uh, I don't think I'll be getting that one but um, what I'm going to do now is if that's just the latest and beauty, quick video what I got, my six items so if you're not interested in seeing Lily, you can just no, I'm just going to go and get Lily out if you know interested. That's that. Uh, you can just pop off kind of thing. Um, and remember my giveaway is going. If you just stay sus be subscribed to my channel, comment on my giveaway video, and I'll be me up be joining Sunday. But I'm just going to go and get Lily so you can see how well she's doing. And I'll be back in a wee minute. Bye bye. Hi everyone, I'm back. This is Lily, and she's actually making a lot of noises because she's been very very quiet since Macy died last Sunday. She's kind of lost her wee squeak. But she's eating, she's drinking, 
and she's pooing, lots of poo, so that's a good sign, oh, their gut them is working okay. Because I was really worried about her after Maisie died last Sunday because it must have been about September, October time, and all the things at my mum's house. It was the work was starting and Maisie took ill and I had to take her down with me to take her to the vet down there, couldn't leave her. And this wee soul was left behind and she didn't eat for three days till I brought Maisie back until she picked up again. So sadly when Maisie died last Sunday, I really thought oh, she's going to go down here, I'm going to have to go to the vet to get recovery food or something. But she's done really well. She was she eating and drinking and because sadly the day that I had to take her friend away from her, she Maisie it's a day had a stroke or something, she couldn't move, very, very just lay there. And this wee soul was curling up next to her and trying to lift her wee head up, so she was. So it's whether an animal or all she managed to see her goodbyes, I don't know, but she's managed to pick herself up. I mean she's an old girl herself. I mean she must be well I've had her four years come the twenty ninth of January, so I reckon she must be about Oh, you're getting angry. Oh, oh, she's squealing. That is the first she's done. Oh, I'm so glad to hear your voice back. Oh, on camera as well. Oh, that's the first she squealed in a week. Oh, darling, you made mummy's day. <laughs> Sorry. That's the first she squealed now since she's gone. That's like she always used to pick her up and she squealed the place down. It's just nice to get her voice back. It really is nice to get her voice back. I reckon she must be about uh, four years, three months, I think, roughly. Um, so she's no girl for herself for a guinea pig, ain't you, darling? Oh, was that nice to do that for mummy? Yeah. Nice to meet her, you know, that is, honest. I swear, that's the first she squealed. I mean, I pick her up and she used to squeal the place down, absolutely squeal the place down. And my son said, maybe it's when she picked her up, she didn't want to leave Maisie. She was squealing, but that's the first squealing noises she's done. Eh, that is, that's a whole week it took you to do that. Eh, what a nice noise to hear. We've been waiting on it, what a nice noise to hear, because she always was a squealer. You'd think I was murdering her, you pick her up and you'd think that's squealing. So that has just made Mummy's day, really has. He just did it right on cue, right on cue, eh? So as you can see, I just I love all my pets, and they all get individual attention every day. They all do, but she's been getting extra TLC and extra loves and cuddles because she's been on her own. Because she had Maisie when I mean, she came from the pet shop with Maisie, and they've been with her all their life, and then all of a sudden for this wee soul to be on her own after four years, eh? You know, it's a lot for her to just suddenly be on her own, so she gets lots of extra TLC and she's just all molten everywhere, ain't you? Doesn't bother mummy, does it? No, it doesn't bother mummy. So, um, I could sit here all day with her, uh, I was going to pop her back in, but I'm just delighted to hear that squeal, absolutely delighted to hear that squeal. Just made mummy's day. So, that's my little Lily, and you can see she's doing really, really well on her own. Extra TLC and extra cuddles and extra love, but she's doing so, so well. So we'll say bye-bye. Oh yeah, I've got Spencer lying here absolutely sound asleep. It's all pure done. Sound asleep. Is she going to say bye-bye? Right, we'll say bye-bye. Here you go, say bye-bye. Here you go. That's, oh, that's a girl. So anyway, I'll say bye-bye for now. And remember my giveaways going, I said earlier on the video, eh, after the un unboxing the box, eh, just be subscribed to my channel, comment on that video, and all being well, I'll be drawn on Sunday. I'll give you an update tomorrow or Thursday, any update on Molly, what's happened, her, her progress and her treatment. Uh, I'll keep you updated because a lot of people have been asking, so I will do a wee video on that. Uh, I don't know if I've got any, well Spencer's booth box is due, there's something else in my mind that's due and I just can't think what it is. Uh, oh I did get an email for Glossy Box, anybody watch my Glossy Box and know I've got my, the mud mask, I think most people are getting that instead of the little two we're supposed to get and that's what brought the value of the box up it was £44 for that mud mask I got the email in today saying we're getting that instead of the uh, little tool and we'll all get that in another box so I must, uh, I'm quite happy I got the mud mask in that box so that's what brought the value of the glossy box up to about £95 this month but anyway Lily and I will say bye bye for now and I'll we'll see you all very soon I can't, there's something else my mind still to come I can't remember what it is uh, also have my January uh, box charm to come and my January latest and beauty box to come but that won't come to the end of the month uh, but I will give you an update on Molly and I'll give you a key update how Lily's doing but as you can see she's very bright eyed yep I'm quite happy aren't you yeah, yeah you like cuddling in she loves cuddling into my neck so she does she just likes her cuddles so Lily and I will say bye bye for now and don't tune my top you tune 
Altså det er både mig. Der er der måske en dø enten, og vi vil enten, don't you? You don't get out for anything, you can sit and chew that if you like to chew that, hey? So Lily and I'll say bye bye for now, and I'll catch up you all very soon. So take care everybody, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye for Lily, bye bye.